Hey YouTube. So, we're revisiting the engine that I took apart and I'm trying to reassemble using a hodgepodge of parts. And that must mean I got the timing gear that I was waiting on. Here it is. It's plastic like the other one, but this one has the, the little keyway on it. And I've already checked, and it does fit perfectly onto the crankshaft. So, and I also did buy some gasket sealer just to touch up any little bits of gasket that maybe came off. So I think it's time to reassemble this and see if it runs at all. If it doesn't, I'm not out too much. I'm out under $7 for that gear and that gasket sealer. I'll use it again some other day. So Let's see. So here we are. I put the piston, I reconnected the connecting rod to the piston, put the pin and the clip. I put all that back together and I don't have a, I don't have the ring compressor but I was able to just use my fingernails and pinch the rings and I got the piston back into the cylinder. When I put that in there's two rings and I made sure to put the one gap on one side and the other ring I put the gap on the opposite side that way it shouldn't burn too much oil so we'll keep going and the connecting rod is back in I have my torque wrench and from what I can tell on my spec sheet these need to be torqued to hundred inch pounds so that's what I'm gonna do That one's torqued. And that one's torqued. So connecting rod is back in. And I put the camshaft back in, as you can see. I put some oil on the end of it, where it goes into the block. And you'll see the mark on the new timing gear is lined up with the mark on the camshaft. So, need to get the oil slinger and put oil on that and then we'll put the sump on. Ta-da! The sump is back on. Now it's time to put the screws or bolts back in the sump. And I'm going to tighten them down to 90 inch pounds. Here we have the head and head gasket back on and my torque wrench. We're going to torque these to 140 inch pounds. I'm going to go in kind of a star pattern.
So I'll get those all torqued back down. So I got on a roll. I kept putting stuff on here and kind of forgot to turn the camera back on. We got the head on and torqued. We got the intake pipe on. We took this from another engine because this was missing. We put the engine brake back on. We took that again from a donor junk engine. And we also took the magneto, the coil, off of this engine. And I have just loosely put it on here. I also grabbed the oil dipstick and I'm about to put the flywheel back on. Pretty soon, I think we'll see if this works or not. We still need to get a carburetor, but that's the easy part. Okay, party people. We put a gas tank on it, we put a fuel line on it, we found a recoil, we put a brand new carburetor on it, we put a used spark plug in just to test it. There's a blade on underneath. We just put oil in it. I'm going to check the level and I'm just going to squirt some carb cleaner into the carburetor to prime it just to see if this will run. Stay tuned. Here goes nothing. It's pretty cool. Let's see if it starts hot. I think we got a runner. So there you go folks, if you have a treasure trove of lawnmower parts like me, and if you have three different engines all with separate issues, maybe you can be lucky like me, spend less than seven dollars and have a runner. I'm pleasantly surprised. I didn't know what was going to happen here. Thanks for watching.